All right, today we're going to be working on this piece of aluminum, and we're going to we're going to spray paint this thing. Now, this is a hydrofoil or planing aid for my outboard motor. Uh, it's experimental at this moment. I've made them before and had good results. We'll go into that at another time. This is a a piece of aluminum plate that I've sanded and scuffed as you can see really well so that the paint can bond on the surface in those I'll say microscopic scratches created by the sandpaper which is necessary for a reasonable paint job. Now lately I've been using this paint that you can get at Tractor Supply. It's Valspar spray paint. It's about five or six dollars a can. But it's good paint. Uh, this is tractor and implement as you can see. It, it seems to have a real strong hard finish. So it'll it'll put up to a little bit of abuse if you give it time to to set up. Now this is a low gloss and I tend to use a semi gloss or low gloss on my projects. Uh, they hide more imperfections than the high gloss paints and Lord knows there's plenty of imperfections in my work. Um, this will turn out pretty well. Uh, there's a few scratches in this metal that of course paint won't hide. But I'm just going to give you kind of the gist of how to get the best mileage out of your spray paint. Of course give your, give your can a good shake and I've already shook this one up well. And what I do is I outline the area I'm going to paint first and then I make straight lines across as you'll see. And that way you know where you're at, you know you're getting good coverage, it just seems to work out. So let's get going here. Alright, we've pretty much got an outline going. Now we're going to start filling in. That's about all there is to it. Take a little time, and you can have something nice. <laughs> 